Okay, that looks clear, so let's begin. This guy's nice and steady, okay. So, okay, I don't know what this building actually is. Like, I know there's supposed to be a public school close to Roberts, but this is here saying, oh, Catholic district building board building or something like that, which is kind of weird because the other day I just zoomed the district board. So it's like, okay, if that's a district board, then what's this building all about? Well, I guess I'll find out. So a lot of commercial vehicles parked here. Like a lot. A lot of vans. Okay, I guess this sign will probably explain. Operations, maintenance, and administrative center. Oh, okay. Alright, so now that makes it clear. Because I'm like, but wait, why would they have two administrative buildings? So what would be the point of that? But it turns out that this one actually has a slightly different function. Okay, I believe the school that I want to film that feeds Roberts is coming up ahead, just up there. So I'll get to that pretty soon. And of course, because I'm so close to the lake, there's all these flies just buzzing around. I don't know if they can show on camera, but it's something you have to be kind of careful about because you don't want to yawn too wide or something and you just have a bunch of them going in your mouth and that's just, yeah, yuck. Very yucky. Here's some child shouting some things. Exactly they're shouting, I don't know. But we're going over to the elementary area now, so I'll find what the name of that school is. Get some photos. Actually, is there any way to get in there? Actually, no, wait. That's not the school. That building up there is the Lakewoods Child Care Center. Okay, so I don't think it's going to be easy access to get in there. No, looks like it's going to be locked off, but that's okay. No need to go in there. I guess it would have been kind of cool to cover and walk around it, but whatever. Oh, these swampy fields. Uh, I was kind of tempted to actually bring rain boots for this adventure because it is crazy swampy out here after the rain. I don't know what this thing is, and my shoes almost just came off my feet now because it is so swampy back here. You know, yeah, bringing rain boots wouldn't have been a bad idea, like seriously. Oh my goodness. Alright, I survived the wetness. Though I don't know how I'm going to do the bonus segment where I'll be walking through the fields actually. I want to do two additional segments, but one's going to be exploring the marsh from this school because I think this one's actually closer to the marsh. And then for the bonus segment for Roberts, it makes sense to do the lake since Roberts is actually a little close. I mean, both are obviously really close to the lake, but this one is just a little further. It looks like the school's barred off, so I don't think I'm going to be able to actually walk around it as close as I'd like to. But that's okay, I can just walk along the fences and just pin the camera to my size like this. So that way you can get coverage of it, but I won't be as close as I'd like to be. So, just something I'll just have to bear in mind when doing this place. All right, Lakewood's Public School. Okay, that's the name. Looks 
looks like there's a soul Ford in the parking lot. I don't know who it belongs to, but I have personally have no interest in it. I think I can see some vague graffiti. This one in particular, it kind of looks like a dog. Actually, yeah, I think it's supposed to be a dog. Wow. And to think this school would be free from graffiti. Well, I don't know what gave me that impression, but it isn't. Well, most schools aren't actually. I mean, it's kind of rare that you ever find a school that's like totally free from graffiti. Kind of tempted to actually just keep going and film the segment right with this one, but uh, the problem with that is that if I do stop right now to just get the additional footage of the marsh, then I'd have to walk from the marsh and take photos, but I kind of think that I'd rather just terminate like here or something and take the photos here and then go to the marsh, or should I just walk to the marsh now? I don't know what I should do. Actually, because I don't know what to do, I'll just terminate the video here, get the photos, and then go to the marsh. Yeah, I'll do that. sharpness test yeah it looks reasonably sharp so now I can continue the or rather than say continue well now I can get the part where I wanted to get the additional footage of the vicinity like the surrounding areas so for Lake Woods what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the marsh and then for Roberts I'll focus more so on Lake Ontario Okay, so it looks like there's two things I'm going to have to worry about. The first will be the swampy fields, and the second will be uh, the stability. And I guess third, I can probably see the flies, because I plan to add more commentary this time around than what I did with the other two schools, so I'll have to try not to accidentally swallow nasty flies while I'm talking. Then again, I'm not going to have my mouth wide open. Like I know some people when they talk, their mouth is just wide and you can just see everything in their mouth when they speak. Okay. Yeah, it really would have been a good idea to bring rainbows, but for some reason I don't know why I didn't do that. But whatever. Let's just focus on the marsh. Is that the marsh? No, that's not the marsh. That's some... Um, actually, I think that's part of the marsh. But again, I'm quite afraid. Look at this. Swamped out fields. Okay, I think the marsh is up there. Yeah, actually, yeah, the marsh is up there. So, I will walk to it and cover it and get on top of that platform. I don't know what kind of things we'll see there. Well, if I had to take a guess, probably aquatic birds, of course. Because it's not super warm yet, I don't expect there to be a ton of animals. Thankfully, I don't think there'll be any mosquitoes yet, so... Actually, no, or, or the mosquitoes aren't yet. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't, I don't know. Or do those things come out in me? Well, ultimately, I guess it depends on how warm the water is. So if the waters are normally warm, then they'll come out a bit sooner. And... Okay, I don't know if I want to walk in that or if I want to walk around here. Well, actually, no, I don't think it makes a difference. I'll just have to walk through this. I no, could have just done a long straight and skip it, but whatever. So, okay, I think this is the fields for Geo Roberts, or do they share with Lakewood? Okay, after I stepped through that, it feels like my right sock got wet now, but oh well. If I wanted to avoid this dilemma, 
with you know my socks wet so I would have brought rain boots. I didn't do that. So red. And hey, because nobody's up there, I'll actually be able to get up there without weirding anyone out. Noise. So yes, that is the marsh. I think they call it the pump house marsh. Something like that. Actually, yeah, that is, that, that's the name of it, I believe. It's the pump house marsh. Okay, I don't think I want to walk through that, so I'll walk through the grass. There's some noisy birds going off in the background. And of course, you have some lovely graffiti here. Hold on, does that say Alyssa hates you? Uh oh. Wow, not good. Okay. So that's it. That's the pump house marsh. I feel kind of breathy, but that's okay because I'm pretty much always breathy whenever I do these, so I just have to get over that. There's the sun up there. Okay, I guess I'll come down now so I can get a better look at it. I'm a little closer to it. Hold on, I see some warnings. Restrained by a leash and scoop. Waterfront trail, okay. So that's for dogs. Because you know people are gonna want to walk their doggies around here and on the trails. Okay. So now we're getting close. Here's some seats for you to chill. Okay, that part of the bridge is making me nervous because it looks like... I don't know what those were. But for some reason, I don't want to think I want to step up here because it looks kind of rotten. And I'd rather not fall because this looks pretty deep. So... I won't get too close. I mean, I'd like to get close, but at the same time, I want to play it safe. Uh. Okay, turn around, get my surroundings. Can listen to all sorts of animals here. And alright, I guess I can call it quits for the bonus segment for Lake Woods. Get some photos here and then I'll get the lake area for Roberts. Or maybe I can just keep it here for a little longer just so I can listen to the animals. Fortunately, it looks like there's some garbage in here. That's not cool. But I'm, uh, some algae over there. All right, now I'll actually call it Chris for real this time. A very fitting name for a school close to both Mars and the lake. If you like this video, comment, rate, like, subscribe, share, ring my button for more information, and visit my Twitter page to get the latest videos.